This is Sean Plouffe from Hitterish.com. Today we're going to take a look at Mookie Betts and some of the swing movements that allowed him to hit 20 plus home runs in the big leagues at his size. Uh, this is something that's really unprecedented. Something that not many people can do, right? You have his teammate Dustin Pedroia and um, other guys like Jose Altuve. Uh, it's really valuable to take a look at these guys and see how they're generating this kind of power. Um, Betts is listed at 155 pounds, uh, five foot ten. I think he might be a little bit bigger than that, but regardless, he's not a big guy, and it just goes to show you that. You don't have to be huge to hit for power in the major leagues. So let's take a look at some of what's happening here. Some things I really, really like. He gets this really nice forward move going. He probably moves maybe 10 to 12 inches forward towards the plate. And if you're a smaller guy uh, trying to produce power, this is probably something that you'll need to do. So you can see here when he gathers, the knees kind of come together. The feet are pretty narrow here. And it allows him to take a bigger stride than most guys, right? He probably strides about two feet right here. Uh, and that's okay because at the same time, you see the elbow pull back, the hands pull back, and he's arresting this forward momentum by resisting with the upper body, right? So you see the back leg start to turn. The hands stay back, stay back, stay back. And something you'll hear me talk about is the bat speed happening kind of deep and inside the batter's box rather than out over the plate. He gets a nice turning action to the barrel. So he opens up his body and really gets to this up and in pitch. So something that you'll see from him that's really, really nice. Look at how much torque he's created, right? His front foot's falling, 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 and you see his back elbow pull back at the same time, right? Barrel gets up, and from here, watch the back elbow. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, right? Think about how much stretch and torque is happening on the back half of his body as he kind of settles into this swing here. The lower body is really pulling the bat around. This is really, really nice. This is how you create power as a smaller guy or at any size for that matter. Takes his pitch middle in, drives it for a home run on the left. Something I've talked about in my other videos this is not swinging with level shoulders. Uh, this is getting the back shoulder level with the height of the pitch, right? So we don't get around this ball. He's able to kind of stay under it, hit the bottom of the ball, and get this trajectory to put the ball over the fence. This is a clip I really, really like of him. Uh, this position right here, something we talked about in my Chipper Jones analysis, same exact position that Mookie Betts gets to here. Again, same kind of movements, same everything, right? Front foot starting to get down. You can see the barrel start to move before the foot's down. To me, the swing starts when the barrel moves, right? Not when the foot's down. When the barrel moves, that's when the swing starts, right? Because this ball is halfway to him before the barrel moves. That better that barrel better be moving with some speed in order to get to that pitch. You see a really nice one piece, how the arms stay bent, and they keep their shape all the way through into here. And they turn the barrel around the hands, right? So he's not pushing the arms away from the shoulder. He's keeping the hands at the shoulder and he's spinning the barrel around the hands with this triangle shape, right? So. Back elbow up, front elbow down, and then he switches them into back elbow down, front elbow up. And that bat speed created back here carries around and into the baseball. You see he actually gets to his heel right here. Really, really nice clip. Again, he has that tension we talk about, so he's kind of falling into the swing, which is really, really nice because he's resisting with the upper body. You see how far counter-rotated he gets. Front shoulder on probably the second baseman. Um, and that's okay because this torque that's happening, a lot of guys, a lot of coaches think that if you load the shoulders this way, you'll spin out. Um, 
to me, that's setting the direction of the swing. So the direction starts out going towards that second baseman, and then he can turn the body to direct the swing to the middle of the plate. Here's his on-deck process, kind of what he's thinking about. Again, you can see the bat get up. Now his hands definitely come forward really early as compared to his game swing, but you can start to see the process here, uh, even right here, right? That triangle shape stays. He goes from back elbow up to back elbow down, and the, the barrel gets this momentum back in here and then contact, right? The barrel needs to be getting up to speed back in there in order to really make contact with authority. So in this clip, he has a really big stride, really big gather. Look how far he strided out here. This is one of the bigger strides that you'll see um, and the back, the hands are really far up and back. This is about as far separated. I don't like to use that word. I don't like separating the hands from the body or thinking about the hands going towards the umpire. I'd much rather see the back elbow pull back towards the dugout behind him because that's what creates the torque. Um, if I load my hands straight back, I haven't created any kind of torque with my leg or my lower body. But if I pull my elbow back, then I've created that torque. So his, his elbow is back here. It's important to notice. I'll take you through that in the next couple clips. But the elbow's back, the leg pulls him through. Really nice swing. Stops his momentum with the front leg. So a lot of people look at the swing as it happens as the front foot gets down and then they're like, okay, this is when the swing starts. I can tell you that everything that Mookie Betts does really, really well happens before the foot gets down. This action right here. So he's falling towards the ball and the hands are resisting that move. The elbow's pulling back as that's happening, right? And you can see there's some barrel movement happening here. He goes from the tip position and the barrel's moving backwards away from the camera here. The swing is starting. The front foot's not down yet. The barrel's moving. The ball's probably halfway to him. And you see that barrel continue back around and into the baseball. So everything that happens in these frames is a result of these really good frames into here, right? So what you're establishing with these movements right here is the lower body starting to open up, the upper body's resisting that move, you're creating this torque, this tension, this momentum with the barrel going backwards, and then the rest of the swing is just a result of those movements, right? So the leg continues to pull, the hands can go from here to here after they've been pulled by the leg. So they're pulled, 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 and then you can get through the baseball. Again, these frames right here, he's falling forward. He's probably moved about 10 to 12 inches. The hands have stayed back, stayed back, stayed back, stayed back, and then they get pulled by the back leg. You see how far his knees opened up. The back knees kind of facing the pitcher. His hands are still back, still at the back shoulder. The amount of time, the, the amount of frames where he's able to keep the hands back. The more, the better. He's created stretch. This is how you create, create power as a small guy. Um, a lot of guys would push the hands forward by this point, and that's just not an efficient swing pattern. Obviously, Mookie Betts is very efficient, uh, being able to hit home runs at 155 pounds. Uh, I think there's a lot to learn from this swing. This has been Sean Plouffe. You can learn more at hitterish.com. Catch you next time.
this one is rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know.